Hey, what's up guys? Today's episode is all about creating, exporting and importing Swatch libraries into Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So there is different reasons why you might want to export or import Swatch libraries. Here on my channel, I use it for two main reasons. The first one of course being brand colors. I have exported my brand colors to a Swatch library so that every time I need to create some graphics for my channel, I can easily just load in the Swatch library with my brand colors to make sure I use the same colors every single time. The second thing I use it for a lot is when I do drawing tutorials on my channel, I often export the swatches so that you guys can use the same swatches when following one of my tutorials at home. Now let's get started. Creating swatches is easy. The way I do it is by drawing a square like this to get a better sense of the color than just this small square right here. Now double click the fill and select a color that you like. This could be a blue like this. Click OK. So now if you're doing, let's say, a color palette for a brand, it might be a good reason to do one of these squares for each color that you're going to use. This will give you a better sense of how the colors matches together. So now let's do two more squares. So now we have three colors that matches together. Now we need to create the swatch library. So to do this, you select the first color and make sure it's the front color over here. Then go to your swatch panel. If it isn't open, you can find it in window and swatches. Now click new swatch right here. This will give you this pop-up. From here you can name the swatches like brand name blue or anything you like. Then click OK. Do this with all the colors. Now we have our three swatches in this panel. To export these swatches, you click this drop down menu right here and go down to save swatch library as ASE file. ASE stands for Adobe Swatch Exchange. This file type can be used in any Adobe program. So if you want to use your library in, let's say Photoshop, you can import it to Photoshop if you choose ASE. The downside to choosing ASE is that it don't include tints, gradients and patterns. It only includes standard swatches as we made right here. If you want to export tints, gradients or patterns, you will have to choose Save Swatch Library as AI file. The downside to this is that you can only use it in Adobe Illustrator. So to make sure we can use this library in all our Adobe programs, choose Save Swatch Library as ASE. Now you can name your library. I will name it Brand Colors and save it wherever you want on your computer. And click OK or Save. Now you will get this pop-up. This is because we chose an ASE file and Illustrator is warning us that it doesn't include gradients, patterns or tints. We know we haven't created one of these, so we just click OK. So now the Swatch library are saved wherever you saved it on your computer. Now when you want to import your Swatch library to another project, you once again go to your Swatch panel and go to this menu again. But this time you will go to Open Swatch Library, go to Other Library and find the swatches on your computer. Now you'll get this tiny pop-up, but if you want to move your swatches to the swatches panel, you just select the first swatch, hold down the shift key and select the last swatch. Now all the swatches are selected and you can simply just drag and drop them to the swatch panel. To watch more of my content, click on the videos on the screen right now.